After weeks of flooding, floodgates finally come down today in parts of the Metro East. Good morning, I'm Samantha Jones in for Corey Stark. And I'm Marissa Holloway. Sky Zoom 4 flew over high waters in Alton. You can see all of this here closing off main roads and affecting businesses. And just across the river in Illinois, uh, or just across Illinois, that is, Route 3. Crews will take down floodgates today in East Alton. News 4's Alyssa Toomey is in East Alton live for us this morning. Hi, Alyssa. Well, hey, good morning, Marissa and Samantha. And right now you can see behind me that the floodgates are still up, but the Madison County Emergency Management Center says that they hope to bring these floodgates or they're planning on starting to bring these floodgates down this morning. I haven't seen crews out here yet, but they said they hope to have them down by the afternoon or evening rush hour. Now I wanted to take you over here because this is typically a busy road, but you can see those road closures there and just look at how many businesses are in the area. I walked into this Circle K and was talking to one of the employees he tells me that it's just been ridiculously slow since these floodgates opened. So everyone in this area is really looking forward to this today. Now I want to show you some video of the flooding in Alton from just over a week ago. The Mississippi River there crested over the weekend. As of this morning, it's fallen a little less than a foot. It's still a little over 17 feet though above flood stage. If you can believe that the National Weather Service says it won't fall below major flood stage until Saturday night. So back to these floodgates here again. Crews are expected to start working to bring these down this morning, but they say that it's a long process. They're also going to have to do some patching in the road, so they're asking everyone to really be patient. Again, they are hoping to have those down by the afternoon or evening rush hour for now live in East Alton this morning. Alyssa Toomey, News 4.